I was pushed to be a doctor. Back then, we don't realize what you're supposed to do, what is your aspiration, where do you want to go. Uh, my parents were doctors, and they said you have to become a doctor. I became a doctor. Twenty years back, if you could see and realize what you actually want to do, you know what is the aspirant of the people, thing like that. We don't get into a right frame of mind, thinking what is right for anybody like that. Uh, and four years after my MBBS, I realized that this is totally not where I belong. So sitting in one place, seeing the patients every day, thing like that. Probably it is a good thing to do for a community, but I was not made for that. So go back and see what I was good for. I did my MBA. I did my graduation. And then it started. Let me share a perspective of a mother before the professional side. A couple of months ago, before we built or before even thought about uh, what are we are built today, there was a situation where my 11-year-old kid uh, was running really high temperature, and for consecutive three days, and we didn't know uh, what treatment to begin with. In fact, uh, the reason being. Uh, the reason being very silly, if I could recall it today, the pediatrician suspected it to be dengue, but he asked for a platelet count. I mean, you could ask me what is the big deal about it. Just go and get the diagnosis done, and it can be sorted. But it was not as simple as that. I was literally running around just to ensure I get the results. Anyone who can give me the results in at least three hours. But believe it or not. <laughs> It took literally 18 hours for us to diagnose and confirm the platelet drop. Getting into post graduation was a big decision. I had to do my MBA and getting it forward. What actually made me think in that lines when you could uh, see there were so many problems in healthcare. So many problems in healthcare. Shortage of doctors is one of them. But instead of becoming a shortage of a doctor and treating patients. Let's see if we can address all the healthcare problems. This was one motivation I had. For that, what you do, you have to do a post-graduation MBA, which I did that. I had worked at Apollo hospitals. I worked at a global hospital. At been serving bigger positions. I have done good amount of work. I did lot of impact. In that journey, I realized diagnostic, which is laboratory industry, is one such area where lot of addition was required. I start exploring that option. And uh, the more I got into it, the more I uh, involved myself and started improving, the more and more problems were coming. And then I served twelve years in the world industry, helping and you now serving the industry and things like that. This gave me a better satisfaction than becoming a doctor and you know seeing every patient uh, one by one. If you see, laboratory industry is one such unique area where there are so many problems are there. It's very primitive compared to other uh, hospitals or. Pharma industry or whatever industries, separate industries you have, and I have worked in every scale of uh, laboratory industry. You now I have worked with the government hospitals, I have worked with trust hospital, I have worked with corporate hospitals, worked with different scales, different countries, different geography. After giving two years of my work in this particular industry, I realized uh, there is one major problem in all of these hospitals. Let's say we take this or that or whichever way it is, was turnaround time. Delayed in giving reports. An interesting irony is, it doesn't even take that long for the machines to process the lab reports. Uh, but unfortunately, we got so comfortable with all the turnaround times and the delay in the lab reports. Ask this question to yourself: Why is it when you go to the hospital and you are testing there, it takes only two hours, even from the laboratory, wherever it is? But when you Do it in a private laboratory. It takes evening or it takes the next day. Why is that? Gone are the days when you know all these laboratories pull all the samples to one particular city, like send it to all send it to Bombay, send it to Chennai or something like that. Days have changed. It's become very modern. Bigger equipments have become smaller. A lot of miniaturizations have happened. So it is easy to process these days. Over the years, despite of all the convenience that. The diagnostic industry has developed, and all the advancement in the technology, the delays still happen, which can be avoided. Which is exactly inspired us to build whatever we are building today. Uh, this is where I was trying to address the problem. Let's reduce the turnaround time and bring impact to the patient. Let's bring a laboratory to you. 
you don't have to go anywhere. Just come sit inside the laboratory. Every equipments are there. So a small chair you can sit down. We call it fill water chair. Draw your blood. Ninety minutes. We can give the report. When this is possible, why can't we do so?